Premier Comrade Mielenkov, Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. And their primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now deceased. So, what is being problem? The problem, Conrad, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. Then the American people are not noticing? <laughs> ah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be destroyed. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. Savages. Degenerates. There's only one way to deal with such men. Revolution. Can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Fiora. I expect you to die. Mine's free. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers.
I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my Holofox unit, so it landed quite nearby. I didn't bring any with me. Figured, uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia. What's a data core? You never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core.
I don't understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. These Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! Pyah! Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much Revelade as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orincho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Pleh! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Jeez, Pox, my head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not. The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. And I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find her little hippie friend, the freak. Houston just called. You want the space Come on, then take her. Police dispatch, is this an emergency? All clear. Roger that. Stand down.
The freak is supplying the whole damn commune at the park. And yet he still can't get any action. What a loser. I wonder where the freak went. Probably up on the hill doing his mountaintop hermit routine. Weirdo. Hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him? But I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater. Which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is cat's got the chicks eaten out of his hookah. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bong Water? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a, in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your in. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bong Water. What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bong Water says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like, the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. Close. And that's why I won't drop ass. Flatfoot, gumshoe, pig, buzz, dick. These are not attractive terms. If God had meant men to have long hair, he would have made it grow long on its own. I am having the same dream over and over. I am holding giant chili dog like Lance as I am jumping through enormous flying onion rings in space, one after another. What does it all mean? Disgusting! Hands in air, be shy. 
I am no longer caring. And next week, we'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run ten hours. So eat a good breakfast. That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! Goddamn flashbacks. Guess again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra-burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join us! We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Kill me? Run along, comrade. My men can handle this. Pacifist. What a crook. Parameter breach! Get bong water out of here! Hurry! Attacking! Bong water is being in danger. Get him out of here now! Bad trip, man. Bad trip. Firing. Prepare to die. How's it hanging, freak? Uh, listen, I need a little more info. All right, but hurry it up, will ya? You're making me nervous. Here's the thing. I found Bong Water, but he got away before I could ice him. Whoa. I don't know, man. You didn't tell me you were gonna get violent. You didn't ask. Smart hippie. Okay, okay. Maybe I've heard some things. He's gone underground and come up with a new plan to distribute his revelade. Okay, so where's Bongwater hiding? Nobody knows, man. He just sends his goons out to spread the revelade. Sneaky, huh? Just like a snake hiding in the grass. But he can't hide forever. I got a couple of pretty good weed whackers of my own. Great. What's that wacko up to now? Get this. Somehow he got his hands on a whole bunch of blimps. Blimps? What's he gonna do? Start a tire company? It's not what's on the outside, man. It's what's on the inside. Yes. He's gonna gas the whole city with Revelade! Wow, that's so wild it might just work. Well, I'll tell you this. Bongwater's been drinking his own Revelade if he thinks his scheme's gonna work. Whatever. Hey, you coming to Jade's party? What? 
No, I'm gonna blow up Bongwater's blimps full of Rivoli. Didn't you hear me? Easy, man. Mellow out. What am I doing talking to this creep? Pox, we got a situation here. Bongwater must be drinking his own product. The freak says he's planning to fumigate Bay City with giant blimps full of Revelade gas. Great galaxies! That's so moronic, it just might work. So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. Ah, oh, crap. The good news is ancient Furon landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then, I kick a little monkey ass. Thy languid Furon god, and stamp my idol with bolts of electricity. Attend the holy slows of the great Archbeagle. Thy waning shroud of viewers rekindled. Landing zone activated. If that Howard kid from the Carba might run over. No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. It appears the saucer took a hit. Or 12. On the way here. No, no, no. Don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, man. Luckily, I've detected more data cords from the mothership nearby, containing repair parts you can use to get the saucer up in the night. Once you're in the air, you can blow up blimps to your heart's content. Gotcha. I'll snatch up those repair pods and swing back to the saucer. Oh, yeah. It's payback time. Okay, who spiked my chamomile? Ah! Here. Whoa. I've got tax returns to file. That's it. No more hookers after midnight. What the hell is that thing? Can I help you? Got a gun! On your knees, cowboy! Pull in!
there. Everybody yeah, look! Help you it's Obi Tang! Ah! Who's that? Bad tree path. Is that yours? Then put it back. Right on! Time to boogie! Just in time, Crypto! Bombwater has launched his blimps at the city! You must stop them from polluting the air with Revelade! Here we go, Crypto! The blimps have entered the city! Oh, it's on! I'll be monitoring the level of Revelade in the atmosphere, but you'd better destroy those blimps quickly, Crypto, because if the Revelade level reaches 100% saturation, our Bay City Brain Farm will be turned into a useless den of unmotivated degenerates sitting in front of their TV screens, twiddling their thumbs. Look <laughs> alive, Crypto. Here comes another wave of those infernal blimps. Oh. <laughs> 